Hello and welcome. If you're looking to create a LinkedIn company page, a business profile on LinkedIn as opposed to a personal profile, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a LinkedIn company page in 2021. So if that's what you're looking for, keep watching on this video. I'm Nathaniel and this is Marshall, the King Charles Cavalier, who's also joining us. <laughs> If you're wondering how to create a LinkedIn business page or a LinkedIn company page, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to delve into how you can create a LinkedIn company page in 2021. So here we are on my LinkedIn profile. This is my LinkedIn profile here. Um, this is my personal profile, not my company page. So um, if you have a personal profile set up, what you want to do is go to the avatar at the top right hand corner to find your LinkedIn company page. Now, if you have one set up, it will be showing up here. So you can see I've got a number of companies. Let's go to Bibi Consulting Group. By the way, um, please do reach out to me and follow me or connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm happy to connect with anybody that's subscribed to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my company page. You can see here that in the background I've got um, a social proof showing a picture of a speaking engagement with, with the audience. Got my logo there as the main image. That's generally the best practice. Um, and this is the end result, basically. This is what you want your company page to look like once it's um, finished and once you've created your LinkedIn company page. But if you haven't got a LinkedIn company page already, what you want to do is go to, um, you go to work here. And you see it's got few more LinkedIn products, LinkedIn business services. And then down here, you've got create a company page. And when you click on that, what it will do is take you through um, the process of creating a LinkedIn company page. So if you're a small business, then you want to click on that one. If you're a medium to large business, um, showcase page, uh, sub pages associated with an existing LinkedIn company page. And then you've got educational institutions as well. Let's just collect, uh, select small business for the time being. Um, so the name is the company name generally, um, but you can use keywords in here, but generally I would use a company name. Um, so if your company name is, you know, um, let's say it's uh, Perth Logistics, for example, you want to type in there Perth Logistics, and then that's your company page identity. Um, the next thing is your LinkedIn public URL. So that's going to be your web address for your company page. So if it's linkedin.com forward slash company, what would you like the URL to be after that? So you can, there's a couple of ways you can strategize this. One is to use a company name. Obviously, um, if people are searching for what you do, then you want to show up. So if like I, I chose Bibi Media, you want to use dashes. Um, don't use underscores like this. Um, Google won't be able to read that. So people will be searching for this phrase. It's more likely to show up because it's in the URL. However, you could also use keywords, so web marketing, Perth might be a keyword people are searching for, and that way you're more likely to show up for that keyword. So it's entirely up to you. Um, then you want to put your website. So the website that um, will the company page will link off to. So that's your business website. Put that in there, and then select your industry. Quite important to get this right. People are going to be searching for businesses in your industry. So make sure that you go through these and pick the most relevant industries for your company page. Company size, uh, number of employees that you have. Again, I suggest making this accurate as possible. Um, you know, if, if you fluctuate between one to two or three, I'd put two to 10. Company type, most of you will be a privately held company. Um, obviously, if you're nonprofit or government agency, self employed or public company, you can select those options as well. Um, your logo, you want it to have 300 by 300 pixels. So you may need to resize it in paint or something like that, or you know one of your graphic tools. Um, save it as either JPEG or PNG file. And then you want to include your tagline here. Another good place to include keywords. So um, I would encourage you to, to maybe put, um, you know, describe what you do so people when they get through to the company page and know exactly what you do. And then maybe include your tag, your point of difference or your tagline as well. Um, and I'll show you a couple of examples and then you verify it obviously. Um, and then when you get into your actual company page, once it's set up there, I will show you mine again. Um, when you edit page, you'll be able to edit page info, which we just looked at. The buttons, you can select what the call to action is, contact us, learn more, register, sign up, visit website. 
um, I've selected learn more and then it goes off to my website so that's the button uh, there you know on, on the top below the um, tagline so learn more takes people to web my website the overview is a little bit like the about section on your LinkedIn personal profile this is where you want to put a bit of a bio in and so you've got up to 2,000 characters um, so I encourage you to make the most of that and don't forget to include keywords um, I've started by identifying the problem that I, the company solves. So if you're in business, and you probably know several years the traditional forms of marketing and sales are no longer working. You have a website for your business and an online profile. The question is how effective are they at attracting high quality leads to your business? And so I've identified the problem, then I outline the services we offer, and then I tell people what to do next and give them links to our website and so on, contact details. Put in your telephone here. Uh, important to fill in your address details um, year founded so that people can find you easily and then in specialities um, <clears throat> this is where you want to put in keywords related to the services that you offer when people are doing searches on LinkedIn for service providers um, LinkedIn will crawl areas like specialities so make sure you put in um, as many as you like and up to 20 can be included locations you can put multiple offices in here um, so include those so that people in your geographic area can find you you can have up to three hashtags in here. Obviously, I haven't got, I've got one that I could add in actually. So let me say I put in, let's say I put in um, in marketing as a third one. And what that means is you can engage very easily on posts where these hashtags are used. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Featured groups, if you've got any groups that you're, you've set up, then feature them here like I have multiple languages, I haven't actually done that yet, but it's on my to-do list for sure. I'm um, not gonna post right now. Uh, by the way, here you can invite more connections to follow your company page. You can send 100 credits per month. Um, so yeah, I've got two left, so you know I can send this guy and this guy, I can invite them, okay? Um, so I encourage you to do that to grow your followers. And then you can see here where the hashtags are that I mentioned before. If I click on LinkedIn marketing now, I can go to the feed where a lot of the posts which have got the most engagement with the hashtag LinkedIn marketing is showing up. And I can actually like them and when I like them or a comment on them, it will show up as Bibi Consulting Group, not my personal profile. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here you can post photos, videos, documents, polls, um, and you can boost your posts, of course, because it's a company page as well. Um, you can monitor quite a lot about your activity, people reacting, um, updates about your company. So mentions, for example, um, I was mentioned here or reactions to certain pieces of content, comments, and then you've got shares as well. Um, another thing you wanna have a look at is analytics. So visitors to the, the company page, this is where you can see that. Um, so this is a time range here, let's say, la let's say last 12 weeks, you can monitor how many people are coming on mobile devices, how many people are coming on desktops, um, and then you can look at how many people are engaging on your content um, as well, and then you can look at number of followers, new followers, so you know, um, let's say for the last 12 months, so you know, the most, you know, 39 in a month is probably the best month. Um, and then you've got employee advocacy. Well, I don't know many, many employees apart from the guys that work behind the scenes, so that's gonna be, um, gonna be quite quiet. Um, the content's all here. Um, you've got quite a lot of information about um, content. This is always developing, always improving. Um, you can create events under your company page. Um, events on LinkedIn are getting really, really good. Um, I'm gonna be doing more content about that and also create a showcase page. So showcase pages are like, uh, I'll show you an example of one. So like a LinkedIn lead generation, for example, is a showcase page. Um, I've only just started to set it up, LinkedIn lead generation training courses, but it's basically for a sub page. So some people use that for like sub offices, like offices underneath the brand, or for like different divisions. Um, so commercial division, residential division, things like that. You could use a, a showcase page in that instance. Um, all right, well that's how you set up a LinkedIn company page. Once you've done it, I'll go through to your personal profiles and encourage each other team members to do the same and just make sure 
that the experience section, your company page has linked up properly. If it's still saying BB Consulting Group or your company name, but hasn't got the logo showing up, you just want to type it again and then select the actual company so that it shows the logo up in the profile, which makes it all look nice and neat. And there you have it. That's how you create a LinkedIn company page. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you've created your LinkedIn company page, share the link with me and I'll go ahead and have a follow uh, for follow it. And don't forget to follow BB Consulting Group and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you got value. Uh, right? So the bb.consulting forward slash YouTube tube is the best way to subscribe. My name is Nathaniel Bibby. Thank you so much for watching this.